Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Handmade by Yang with Donna. Today is the day I've been waiting on. The mailman came and I'm working on month three. Can you believe we're three months in already out of the calendar year? Time is flying by, I tell you. So with all of that being said, let's get this puppy broke down and we're going to work it one week at a time. So this is the way it came. It was in a plastic sleeve and I just undid it. So this is the blocks that it's showing. It's showing us the pattern side as well as the mirrored image for these four blocks. There's quite a bit of fabric this go around. They've sent us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors. We've also got two that's going to need pieced together. So I'll keep that aside and I will cut these down. So as I file mine into my system, I'll be checking them out. So I'll move the pattern pieces aside for now. So my first piece here is chart. So let me find that color wave. So as you can see, I'm only going to have one cut out of this little booger. And it says it's not cut to size. So I'll get this one put in to my filing system. So I'll just drop that straight in and I've got some remnants left over from the last month. So I like to keep everything together until we sew everything up. So this is a 4.5 by 5.5 and this one will be funny how we're going to cut it but I'm sure it'll come in right. So I'm looking for SX and that color is sunny. That's a new color being added in this go round. Cactus, we've used it prior, so I uh, just need to find my piece that says cactus, and there'll be one piece cut for that. So I'll look for my CK marking, and I'll drop that right in, and we'll keep that. The next one is papaya, so I'll look for my color for papaya, and I will keep my cutting guide with it. I'm going to look for QY and I'll drop that in. The next one is school bus. That's really, really close to looking like a school bus, I'll tell you. And it's only going to have one little shaving out of it. So I'm looking for the emblem SB. I like to keep mine in alphabetical order. It makes it a lot simpler when we're working through. This one is acid lime. That's a new color this go round. So I'll drop that one down in and grab the cutting guide as well and stick with it. The next one is duckling. I'll fold it. That's a new color. So I will pull that and slide that in. And the next one is key lime. We've used it several times now. So that one's going to stick around for this month. So I'll slide that in and I have a good bit left over from last month on that as well. So all of these papers I will stand up here and move them out of my way because I won't need them for now. And we are going to start with C1 and I don't need this right now. So right here is what we're going to do. And I will slide these out of the way and we're going to get busy. Your first color is going to be CK. And if memory serves me right, that's cactus. So we've used that color before. So I'm going to pull it out, match my cutting guide, C1, block one. And I'm going to mark that off. This is going to be a one cut wonder, this go round. So I'll pull this out and I'll see what I have here left over because I've used cactus before. And I have quite a big piece here, so I'm not even going to use that section that they sent because I used this one in one of my other projects, and it is the same numbers and everything. So you can use all of their fabric along the way because they keep everything labeled and marked exactly the same. So I'll slide that over. I'm going to pin in place and I'll just lay that over here out the way. 
make sure I have enough to where I need to be, and pin. I'll snuggle it back just a bit, and I'm going to pin over here because I definitely, with cutting it, don't want it to shift. Slide these out of the way as well. And we're just going to trim it in. I like to do about a quarter of an inch every step of the way, all the way around. And it's personal preference. And I will keep all of this together and put it right back in its cactus folder. I'm going to slide it this way and just give this little trim in where I have this extra. But your ruler up, you'll, you'll feel it when it nestles right in there. And then I will slide that down in. You never know if you're going to need just the little tiny piece. The next color is KL. So I'm going to go, and I believe that's key lime. We're just going to lay it straight out. The cutting guide said it'll be down on the bottom here. So we will just line it up. And I'll lose some down here on this end, but that's okay. That one's pinned in place. So I'll cut down here. And we'll just cut this off. Little wonky cut there, I'll tell you. Now I'm going to come up the side. And I know where I need it. So it needs to be right there. So I'm giving it a little bit of a crease. And then I'll give it that quarter of an inch when I cut it. So I'll pull this off. And I can see my imaginary little line there. And I'll give it that quarter of an inch. And now this can be filed away. So we'll join this one in. We've got this one here. So we just need to see how this one's going to lay in. This is where it needs to lay. So I'm just going to fold it over. And you're going to want to make sure before you sew exactly where you want it. Because once it's sewed in, you want to make sure you're covering on both ends. Sometimes you have to come up a little bit. So I've got that in, moved all of my tools out of the way, and I'm going to flip it. I'll get it under the needle, then I'm going to make sure nothing shifted here, and it did not, until I raised it, and then we're going to sew it in. I think that was pretty simple. We'll pull these out because I don't need them now. We'll flip it over and make sure our block is covered. We'll lay it down. Press your seam. If you choose to use the acorn here, feel free. It makes it lay really flat. I, I was using it, and I'm going to use it when I'm joining my blocks now. So I'll flip this over, and we're going to trim here. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of waste. Make sure you're button your ruler all the way up. And then we'll slide this out of the way. And now we're looking for AL. That's a new color. That's acid lime. It looks like we're going to be using it quite a bit. So I'm going to make sure I have C1 on my chart, and it's piece number three. So it's telling me I need to go up into the corner, and that's what I'm going to do. 
if you follow your cut guide and that it's just a template to use. It comes in quite handy and it ensures that you're cutting right. So my tag's up here. So I'm going to lay this one right in here. Fold this up. I want to make sure I'm giving myself that extra quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to fold it. That's just giving me that, like I said, little line for my cutting. Fold it back. We'll move this out of the way and I know to cut right there. Fold this one up and set it aside for now. Flip our paper and we're going to lay this in place. You're lined up for your quarter of an inch. Remember we gave it the quarter of an inch overage. So now we're going to flip it over and get it over to under our needle. Give it just a start and then make sure that nothing shifted before you sew in place. Slow and steady and stay straight on that line and everything will come together just fabulous for you. We're going to flip it over. A little scrap of something there. So we're just going to finger press in place. And then we'll trim this one in. Ten minutes or less, and you've got this block done. How cool is that? And if you sew just a little bit each week, in the end, you're going to have a fabulous looking quilt. Remember, life's a journey, not a race. And you're going to have fun while you're doing it. And watching all of the different shadings come together the way that they do all of their kits, not just this one. It's amazing. They blend and come together really nice. Lining it up. Press down. Keep your fingers back. You don't want any accidents along the way. Line it up. And straight in. Now how cool is that? Does that not look beautiful? And you can hardly see the colors, but this, I can tell it's, it just is so stinking pretty. So thanks a lot for joining me for this amazing month. Month three looks like it's going to be exciting. Can't wait to get started on the next one. So I'll see you back next week.